anybody who asks is, the EC says, come for a conversation. They've addressed the concerns you're raising as a party. Just sit down with them so that you can go over the data again and you'll be satisfied with the work they've done. Why are you on the streets today? We don't want a conversation. A conversation does not lead to free, fair elections. What leads to free, fair elections is a credible register. We're asking, we've gone past the time for conversations. In fact, the Electoral Commission painted a picture that the NDC was lying. Now they admit that there are real challenges based on the re issues that we raised. And now we are saying that, fine, if you fix them, your incompetence is what led to those problems in the first place. So we do not trust the Electoral Commission to have the capacity to fix it. So if that's the case, then let us have a situation, let's have a situation where we have an independent audit an independent audit by independent auditors of what the Electoral Commission has done. That's going to give all parties in this election peace of mind and confidence to know that, yes, we have a credible register. So what we are, we're not asking for too much. There's nothing to have a conversation about. Conversations are not what the people of Ghana will vote with. Conversations are not what will give us a free, credible election. A credible register will. So let the NDC bring its IT personnel, personnel the NPP, the CPP, all the political parties, bring your IT persons, the EC should bring his IT person, and let's get an independent auditor, be it KPMG or Deloitte or EY, whichever one of them. Let's have that process done. We can complete that process in less than seven days and meet the deadline for the EC to start this printing. But the EC should not think that we are going to sit down as a political party and allow them to go ahead and print a flawed register. That won't happen. The EC says that this action would obviously not clean it. After all said and done, what is next from here? The EC must accept the demand for an independent audit. If the EC is sure that they have really cleaned up the, 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 the register, what are they afraid of? Why are you afraid of an audit? I mean, why are you afraid of an audit if the register is credible, free and fair? Why are you afraid of an audit if you claim that the issues that we have raised have been dealt with? Then show us. And don't just show us show us and every one of the player because we are being we're being very fair we, we don't want it to be favored so we want it to happen in front of everybody let all the political parties be there and let us all agree that the register is free and fair if we agree the register is free and fair we'll go into the elections did you identify any of these discrepancies in your constituency as well uh, with that widespread nature it's been reported there have been a few issues with a special voters list in my constituency where a few people whose names are supposed to be on the special voters register is not on the special voters register and it also doesn't appear in the regular register so those people are being disenfranchised because their names have been moved from their polling station and it's ought to appear in the special voters list it's not appearing and so now those are people who we have challenges with well, just one thing away from this we know that you are also on your own plan a separate protest uh, towards the, the Chief Justice seeking to compel, uh, yes, to, to call that case. On the, 8th, on the 8th of October, we're going to be back here again. And that time we are marching to the Chief Justice. Because the Chief Justice is helping President Akufuado and, 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 and helping him to stay the hand of Parliament from presenting the bill that Parliament has passed on the anti-LGBTQ. This country says no to homosexuality. This country says no to trumu trumu. We won't allow that in this country. We would march and demonstrate to protect the independence of our children. And so on the 8th of October, we're all coming back here with the clergy and traditional authority to march to the Chief Justice's office to demand from the Chief Justice that the right thing is done. Thank you. So we're going to rely The NDC makes the argument that discrepancies have been identified in this particular electoral role and they are demanding that the Electoral Commission conduct a forensic audit of this electoral role before the December 7 general elections. This is the one demand of the opposition NDC and we here on your election command centre are here to provide you details as it happens all throughout today as to exactly what will be transpiring here from here until the termination point which is the headquarters of the electoral commission there's a petition expected to be delivered to the MPs and the leadership in parliament but the final termination point will be the headquarters of the electoral commission all throughout the morning about 6 a.m. persons have been gathering here at which this, this particular spot, the Obra spot which has become a traditional spot, a home spot for almost all protests in the capital and in the country. Loud blasting music as the hundreds and thousands of demonstrators 
process onto the street headed towards the Farisco traffic light area. They are dancing, they are celebrating, but a bit above it all, there is one simple demand that they are making of, of, of the Electoral Commission, that they give them the opportunity or an opportunity be provided for a forensic audit into the country's electoral roll. The police service are here in their numbers and you're seeing a number of them in your shots right now, fully clothed in preparation for today's protest and what will pan out. There are tricycles here as well, what has been known in different parts of the country as Mahama Kandu as well, all here and present and as well, loud blasting music in terms of what it is that we're seeing 